see what modulation is. Now, modulation comes under emphasis. It is a way of emphasizing. Uh, modulation is the variation in your voice uh, used to show the meaning, mood and emotion behind your words. So modulation includes the varying use of stress, volume, pace, pace is the speed, pitch, inflection, tone color and pausing. So first we'll uh, look at stress. Uh, stress is when importance is given to a particular word or a syllable uh, through a combination of extra breath force, a change in pitch and a lengthening of sound. So there are two types of stress. The first one is word stress and the second one is sentence stress. In uh, word stress, we, if we talk about word stress, Every word of more than one syllable has its own stress. The native speakers usually know this, but we have to learn. Uh, for example, the word dragon. Now, when you say dragon, the first part is stressed. Uh, and uh, some words change uh, their meaning according to the way we stress them. Uh, now, for example, subject, if we stress the first part of the word, subject, if we stress the first syllable, uh, the meaning is uh, cause of study, right? But uh, if you say subject, if we stress the second syllable, subject, then it means uh, to cause somebody to undergo something unpleasant. Uh, and uh, when there are compound words, words made of two or more words, uh, usually they have double stress. Uh, for example, homemade, both the words are stressed. Uh, then we'll uh, look at sentence stress. Now, uh, a sentence contains a number of words, but all these words are not equally important. Uh, maybe one word is more important. Then we uh, stress that word to show its importance. Mm. Then, uh, for example, um, if we are asking for a book from a student, a, a particular book, right? Let's say, um, John, give me the red book. So, David gives the book, not John. Then I would say, John give me the book. And then, uh, John gives a blue book, not the red book. Then I would say, John, give me the red book. Then I, I stress the word red. Okay, let's say, uh, John gives the red uh, eraser, not the book. Then I would say, John, give me the red book. So according to the context, uh, we stress different words. That is sentence stress. Then uh, the next uh, aspect we can vary is volume. The first one is stress. The second one is volume. Volume is the loudness or the softness of the uh, voice. So we don't use the same volume throughout a piece. Sometimes we speak loudly, sometimes softly, according to the mood and the meaning. And uh, when we change our volume, it should be uh, gentle. The transition should be gentle. Uh, there should only uh, be uh, the gentlest crescendo. Crescendo is becoming louder. Diminuendo is becoming um, softer. These are musical terms. Those who do music uh, may have heard these words. So if we use too much breath force, then it will create shouting, which is uh, not to be done. Uh, and uh, 
by varying uh, volume you can uh, give a well modulated delivery then pace pace is the speed now uh, according to the meaning and mode we can use fast pace medium pace uh, or slow pace and a slow pace can be achieved by lengthening vowels and prolonging the space between words. Uh, words suggesting size, effort, astonishment and long periods of time can be taken slowly. Meaningful and emotional passages also uh, tend to be uh, taken at a slower pace. And a phrase which contains several ideas uh, will have to be spoken slowly and deliberately uh, because then the listener will be able to understand it better. A faster pace can be achieved by shortening vowel sounds and the continuant uh, consonants and shortening the space between words. Quick, easy, little, ordinary things can be taken more rapidly or uh, fast. An increase in pace can be used to build up to a climax. And uh, pace is affected by the way we distribute stresses on a word or a uh, phrase.